hey guys it's joy toha and welcome to the channel if this is your first time stopping by you're so so welcome and please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by once again okay so guys in today's video as you guys can see from the title i just want to i don't know if i should say rant <laughs> I want to rant and talk about the bills, bills, bills in the UK, guys. Nothing prepared me for the bills I'm seeing now in the UK. It is crazy. And I just wanted to do this video to just um inform people and, and also, should I say, create awareness. At this point, it's like over here in the UK, people work to pay bills. Like you hardly have... Um, something to keep for yourself or something to invest with or something to you know keep in keep in our savings um in this video i just want to give you guys like a full breakdown on the bills you might expect to see if you're planning on coming and also give you guys my own breakdown of the bills i have gotten so guys if you want to know so far the bills i have gotten and also the bills that you might get when you come in don't click out of this video stay tuned and keep on watching okay so guys the first bill i just want to talk about here is electricity bills okay so um, i'm just going to share my own um experience so far about um <laughs> about our electricity bill because i'm not really sure about how other people um you know pay theirs but um guys we came in during winter and um, if you're coming in during maybe spring or during summer you are so so lucky because um electricity bills are not so expensive during that time and also it's warmer okay so you don't need to you know put on your heater but we we came in during um winter and it was so so cold as for electricity in this house we use only electricity we don't use gas to cook our um cooker is an electric cooker but if you're getting an apartment that the cooker is like a gas cooker you will be paying like gas like that would be like another bill entirely for you yeah so every month we get a direct debit of a specific amount for us it's about 80 i think it is six pounds i'll put the right amount on the screen that is the fixed amount they remove every month from our bank account but that doesn't mean that is your electricity bill for that month okay so monthly they take out 86 pounds okay that's just like the average you understand it's possible for your bill to be less than that and it's also possible for your bill to be more than that okay but they would also advise you to upload your meter reading okay so when you move into a new space you are supposed to take a picture of the meter reading and the moment you open um, an account with an energy provider you would upload your meter reading okay so also before the end of the month you're also supposed to send another meter reading so they don't send you an estimate bill okay so by the end of the month guys the bill that came guys was crazy like i've never seen anything like that in my life okay <laughs> so in the month of march we got 392 pounds 42 pence we're panicking we're like jesus christ like 300 and 392 pounds for just one month <laughs> we had to learn how to save energy like honestly when we came we thought we were saving energy because we were not putting on the bulb but um one thing that you know made the you know bill so so expensive was because we we're putting on the heaters okay so um yeah i remember when we got this place when we came we were so happy that yes we can control the heater ourselves compared to when we were you know at the airbnbs that was already you know being controlled by the host so um they don't put it on all the time and it was quite quite cold when we were at the airbnbs but being here we're so excited that yes we are in our own space we can own the eater anyhow as we like you understand like i was literally just wearing like tan top in the house even though it was snowing outside <laughs> it was so funny like but after that end of that month when we saw the bill that was when we knew how crazy these heaters we are taking energy okay so almost 400 pounds for just electricity bill but by the end of that month 
what they will just remove from your bank account is that fixed amount which for us is 80 something pounds so what that means is that we actually um we are still owing about 300 and something you understand but the good thing here is that nobody will come and cut your light okay but you'll be in debt okay so when it comes to electricity we're actually in debt so we are just paying that um, money little by little until we can you know finish paying that we also learned how to like insulate the house apparently guys we did not know that the windows over here had vents like they are just like really tiny little vents i will put a picture or a video of what that looks like um they had vents so when we came here we don't open the windows we don't open the doors but all the time we would just feel cold like we can feel cold coming from somewhere but we don't like we did not know where that cold was coming from until um not so long ago my husband was like wait what are these things on the top of the window apparently guys we discovered the events and that was where you know cold air from outside we we're coming into the house so february and march when we got our first bill we were putting on the eater but it was like the heater was not strong enough it was not producing you know a lot of heat not knowing that the heat was escaping through that vent so if you move into your own apartment please pay attention to the windows because a lot of time they have vents and you always have to close that vent especially when it's cold so you don't you know um let all the warm hair inside the house escape okay that is what you need you need to trap as much warm air as you can in your house so you don't um find the need to put in your heater okay we started you know closing the vents on that window um we also started you know wearing um you know sweaters in the house we were just very conscious of you know saving electricity we were also putting off all the sockets that was another thing that we were not really serious about we would just leave the socket on even though the appliance is not on we just left the socket on that is very very wrong always make sure the sockets are off regardless okay whether you plug anything or not if you're not using that uh, appliance put the sockets off okay <laughs> the only appliance we don't put off at all is obviously the fridge and the freezer um yeah so that is the only appliance we do not put off but the rest of it when we use it immediately we put it off okay and yeah that's just it so um after you know um learning on how to you know save energy in the month of april we got our april bill and yes guys the money came down drastically okay but i feel we can still do better because um it was still exp a little bit expensive but um the bill came down so so much and that was how we knew that oh my god these heaters we are eating electricity so much <laughs> so in the month of april we uploaded our meter reading again because it's something you need to do every month so um they don't send you an estimated bill the bill came down to 130 pounds 18 pence okay so that was our electricity for the month of april compare 130 pounds to the 392 pounds we got as electricity bill in the month of march it was so crazy even though it's cold please wear your sweater okay wear your sweater wear your sweatpants wear your socks in the house don't expose your body so you don't find the need to you know put on the heater to keep yourself warm but at the end of the month the amount that would still be taken from our bank account is that 80 something pounds okay but if you feel you have the money and you want to clear all that debt once you can definitely do that you can just credit your account and they will you know clear that debt off for you so guys the next bill i have on here is water bills but for water bills guys we haven't seen our water bill yet and that's because we fixed our bill to come every three months so you can either fix it to come every month or um quarterly okay so for us after seeing that electricity bill guys we were so so traumatized like we were like oh my god please 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 we need a break <laughs> So we had to fix our water bill to come every three months this is the month of may by this month we will get you know our our three months water bill okay and maybe in one of my vlogs or or any video i put out i will share um the bill we got for um for water <laughs> 
for three months okay so about water bill i don't have that information now but just know that if you're coming to the uk and you get your own permanent apartment you would definitely pay water right, bill. so guys the next bill i want to talk about is council tax okay <laughs> guys the uh, out of all the bills i'm going to be mentioning guys that council tax is very very annoying it is annoyingly expensive i don't know why a bill can be that expensive guys so if you're coming into the uk as a student you are lucky okay you are you will be exempted to from paying um council tax if you are also you know coming in um as a dependent to a student you will also be exempted from paying council tax okay so as for us my husband is a student and i am his dependent so for now we are exempted from paying this council tax but just know that the moment that your partner or you as a student the moment you are done with your studies <laughs> that council tax will be coming back to hunt you okay so you'll have to start paying the moment you're done with your studies and it depends on like it is actually based on so many factors it's based on the size of your apartment it's also um based on the kind of city you are staying in okay so if you are staying in an in a very expensive city just know that your council tax is going to be very expensive if you are staying in a probably in a cheaper city just know that your council tax won't be that expensive but it will still be a lot okay and um, it also depends on the size of your apartment so if you are staying in let's say in a studio apartment it will be on the lower side and if you are staying in like maybe <laughs> if you're going to be renting like a three bedroom four bedroom yeah just know that but guys i have the bill here like i have the bill so apparently when you come into the uk they will send you the bill regardless but if you are a student or a dependent to a student what you have to do is that you take that bill to your city council office and tell them that you are a student and you want to apply for exemption okay i have a sample of the bill they sent to us like this was the bill they sent to us the first month and when we saw the price we were like jesus christ i had to tell my husband please 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 go to the office and apply for exemption fast <laughs> and um yeah my husband went to the office to the council office to apply for exemption and we were exempted from paying okay so they sent us a council tax bill of 178 pounds 38 pence like that was the bill they sent to us for our council tax council tax what makes up the council tax is um there is an amount for the city council so city council they are in charge of like the city council here is obviously lead city council so if you are moving to other cities there will be a city council for that city so they are in charge of you know maintaining the city cleaning up the city taking out the trash um maintaining like public spaces like the public park the public um let's say the public library and some other public um spaces okay so those are what um they are in charge of doing they're just in charge of maintaining the city cleaning up the city so um there is an amount for that there is an there is also an amount for adult social care honestly i don't understand what that is and i don't understand why <sighs> adult social care please if you're in the uk and you're already used to all these terms please let us know in the comment section just have that explained to us because I don't know where to consign me with adult social care. What am I paying for your adult social care? <laughs> so there is also an amount for that. And there is also an amount allocated for police and crime commissioner. Okay, so the police, obviously, they are, you know, protecting the city. Yeah, so you are actually paying their salary. Okay, <laughs> and lastly, the other, you know, thing included in the council tax is the fire and rescue authorities guys okay, so the fire team those that come out you know put out um fire when there is like an outbreak of one your council tax also fund that department okay so, so just know that if you're coming here to work you would have to pay that amount monthly okay so it's just so crazy like that is 
so much money to be taken out from someone the next bill i just want to talk about is road tax and insurance so if you are planning to get a car when you come here just have it in mind that you will be paying road tax that is like an amount you pay to drive on on the roads in the uk so um i don't know if they expect us to fly our cars where would we drive the car before is it not on the road and it's just crazy to know that you have to pay a road tax for that so just have it in the back of your mind that if you're coming and you plan on getting a car you will be paying road tax and also you will also be paying car insurance that is also another compulsory thing if you plan on buying a range rover here or you know um a lamborghini here yeah, or one expensive car you just know that your car insurance will be very very expensive and um yeah that's why when you come into the uk you see that a lot of people drive really tiny cars and that's because um you know um your car insurance how expensive it is is kind of based on the worth of your car okay so yeah so that's just it and also guys if you're coming to the uk and before you um finalize on on a permanent apartment ask if there is free parking okay some accommodations don't have free parking you need to pay extra for parking so um for example this accommodation where we stay in the parking space is not free okay we're just you know just asking around about cars and all and um when we asked them they told us that parking is not free and you have to pay 100 pounds a month just to park your car in this accommodation where we stay in so it's just crazy guys so um if you are coming just um have it at the back of your mind and also be sure to ask if um parking um is free or not so you can you know just you know make a decision for us we don't have a car so i don't really have an idea how much the road tax and the car insurance cost but um i asked um a friend that um owns a car and she told me that our car insurance is about over a hundred pounds a month so um imagine just to have a car after buying your car you still need to pay like over a hundred pounds for car insurance and um and also let's just say a, another hundred pounds for road tax so it's just crazy guys like it's crazy like. so guys the next bill i want to talk about is phone bills and internet okay so um for phone bills when you come into the uk obviously obviously you need to get the sim card and um when you get the sim card you also need to pay like a subscription for that same sim card for me for my phone bills i pay about 12 pounds a month and that's because it's it is unlimited so unlimited calls and unlimited internet although it can be cheaper than that so if you want maybe um just one gig internet or just two gig internet and maybe um a specific um limited amount of minutes yeah it can be cheaper than that but i went for unlimited okay so yeah which i feel when i think of it which i feel i really don't need and i might call them to you know downgrade my 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 plan but yeah just to just give you an idea for unlimited for internet and um yeah for um also calls i pay about 12 something okay and we also have a wi-fi in the house which is like different we use that to work and also you know i do youtube i upload youtube videos and um i found that that the internet on my phone like that's my hotspot isn't really like so strong to upload a youtube video so we also got like a separate wi-fi net they came in to install the internet for us from bt um we also did that and i think for that we pay um about i think 20 something pounds i'm not really sure about the price i will put um the price on the screen okay for the internet separately yeah you might want to get another wi-fi because when you get a tv like a television apparently you might want to get a smart television so that you can you know stream netflix and maybe stream like amazon prime and all because over here there is another thing they call tv license okay it is another tax the uk government collects for you to watch tv okay so do not be tempted to watch all this uk television because if you do you will get a knock at your door and they will start asking you for tv license okay so when you get a tv just make sure it's smart and yeah you, 
you would also need to get a wi-fi okay and we use that to just watch um netflix amazon prime and about amazon prime guys if you are coming in as a student there is a way you can get free um you know um subscription for amazon prime like they will give you amazon prime for free if you're a student in the uk amazon prime is free for you so you don't need to pay for that okay so guys the last bill i just want to talk about is food it's not really like a bill but definitely you will be spending on food when you come here for food i really don't have like a fixed amount because some months it can be as high as you know 100 pounds while some months it can be very very low like as low as 50 something pounds a month like i really don't have like a fixed amount but um yeah you will definitely also be spending on food so guys i did not mention rent and i'm so sorry about that that's that should even be like the first bill i should have mentioned and um yeah um definitely that is so compulsory you need to pay for rent and that sometimes can even take close to half of your paycheck in a month because um rent is actually very expensive and yeah guys um i did not mention um rent in this video and that's because if you watch my vlogs you would know um our situation with you know our rent payment we already paid that up front for so for now we don't pay rent because we've already paid that up front and yeah so um rent another crazy bill that we need to pay monthly let's not even talk about normal taxes that if you are working somewhere they will definitely remove taxes depending on you know how much you earn and yeah if you found this video helpful um let me know in the comment section if you have any question i just also drop it in the comment section and i will answer to the best of my knowledge and yeah if there is any other bill i did not mention um and you've been here in the uk for a while please let us also know and so we can be informed in the comment section and that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you found this video helpful until next time bye